The church is a very important organization or group or assembly on earth. In fact, the Bible says it's the most powerful assembly on earth. But the church is not like that only. A church receives a lot of attacks. It's like forces in the midst of battle that we need to really pray. And we are fighting against those who disrupt peace on earth. We have a different purpose for our lives. God gave us the Holy Spirit after we received our Lord Jesus Christ. In the moment that we ask for forgiveness of our sins through his sacrifice on the cross. And he gave us the Holy Spirit to guide us to all knowledge and to all truth. That is the key of Christianity. The purpose of coming not only to be saved, but to learn how to please God and to learn how we conduct our lives in this world, we are in this world. But without faith it is impossible to please Him, for he who comes to God must believe that He is. It takes faith. You cannot come to God and be a faithless person. Let me use this illustration. There was a little boy who was told by an atheist teacher, take your fist, clench it, and shake it at the heavens. Because there is no God. And the boy said, no. And the teacher said, why? Don't your parents teach you how to follow authority? I gave you instruction. You should follow my order. And the boy said, well, sir, if I clench my face and shake it at God, if he is there, he will be mad. But if he is not there, why, I would look silly. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Yes, with the singing. Know that the Lord, He is good and He is God. Jesus Christ was sacrificed as a lamb. Why He and why He alone? Because He is the only one worthy to be sacrificed. He is the only one that is holy and acceptable before God. It is the privilege of the Christian person to know and understand these things. In other words, the Lord doesn't want that you continue being a baby in Him. You have to have a process where you're going to become mature. Mature means that you have come to the state of producing something. Mature means that you are going to begin to take the right decisions in spite of the circumstances that surround you. We are limited and we don't see things ahead. You see, sometimes you are delayed because there must be something that God is protecting you in an event that would happen that might hurt you. And if it is not God's will for you to be hurt yet, you know, or to be with Him yet, so to speak, it will not happen. It is always according to His will. So it's very important that you submit to that rule that God wants to implement in your life and in the lives of other people. Tell you how. If you want to be with Jesus, if you want to have a relationship with Jesus, you can do it by prayer, by asking from your own self-will. And that prayer goes like this, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Savior and my Lord. Take control of the throne of my life. Give me eternal life, give me forgiveness of sin, and make me the kind of person you want me to be. If you hear that small, sweet voice, because God is never going to yell at you. It's not going to be in this loud, threatening voice, you know, that loud booming, oh, no. If you feel that, that gentle calling, that small, sweet voice, talking to you, saying, today is the time to be saved, can I ask you to pray that prayer with me? Those of you that are watching us, those of you that have heard this lesson and have changed over the ministry of this church as we have gone and delivered the message to you as you are maturing every day and I know you are as you, if you are looking at our word if you are looking at our ministry you are maturing every day can you pray also for these other people that do not know Jesus can you be part of that can our, that be our partnership in this ministry and so those of you that don't know Jesus, the first time you're asking Jesus to come, can I ask you to pray today because the day and time to be saved is now. Can we pray together? Can we pray together now? Lord Jesus, come into my heart. 
Be my Savior and my Lord. Take control of the throne of my life. Give me eternal life. Give me the forgiveness of sin. And make me the kind of person you want me to be. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, angels in heaven are jumping up and down. Enjoy. Because of the fact that you are now part of the kingdom of God. And so I say to you, as you follow us on this website and all the other websites that we have, as you listen to our sermons, may God bless you. May you have a blessed day. May you have a blessed life.